Hello and welcome to the compile group. So today we learn a lot of things related to the plotting of graphs, matrix and we also learn how to create a function in all languages. So starting with the scatter plot matrix. The scatter plot matrix is a pair of value of two quantitative variables in a data set and display them as a geometric points inside a Cartesian plan. So for that first we need a data. As we already discussed how to import data. So this is the data. You can see that data is stored in this variable or the variable. Fine. So what we have to do? So this create a problem. This is a basic problem with all the graphs will create. So I'm doing manually to open that data file as it's creating a problem by directly importing on this editing this one on copy. I already discussed how this one or the method to import the data set file. And keep in mind you use that forward slash, not the black slash. This is my address for that data set file. This is command for that opening. I'm storing into the D variable fine. So let's open and install in the D variable fine. So for that scatter plot matching, we have to use that pairs pairs command. So, I define that this is the pairs has been created for all the objects for that particular data set for the MPG cylinder, displacement, horsepower, weight. You can see very clearly. Fine. Even you can create a scatter plot for subset of the variable, just like you want to pair pairs for. MPG and plus displacement plus horsepower plus weight comma so here it is showing that displacement is not found. It must be that we have used the wrong spelling. Yes, this place P R A displacement. Fine. What we have found that this is the new scatter plot matrix found. In terms of <coughs> different subset of the variables, here I used and did displacement or spawn wave. So it is between that four variables. Fine. So this is our scatter plot matrix how to create that thing. Now we'll use a creating an interactive plot using the function identity. So for this, what we have to do is plot. Horsepower mm, horsepower comma fine. So here is this object horsepower is not found because it cannot it is not able to take that location. So you can use that thing for that if you find this type of problem can take like that um, D dollar D dollar so this will not be a problem so what you can find that in terms of 
and boolean or how you find its character plot right even you can use that identifier map one of the interactive plot using for that thing so for this you need to do identify function do dollar of power power find comma the dollar displacement right now oh, I'm creating for the empty so the dollar uh, and that is for the name so and then what we find there mm. so here this is creating a problem saying that so you can use this function for getting identified for all these things so coming to the next thing so we can even found that uh, numerical summary of the data set for this you have to use that summary of that data file and what you get somewhere later fine now coming to the next thing uh, if you want the summary of that particular variable you can also get that thing summary t dollar plus you want to get for mp right you can get that thing this even you can use this thing to get help between the okay so coming to the next thing for the descriptive static sex, if you want to find that mean, you can use that direct command mean and using the color. This is so these are the result for that mean. Mean for MPG is from is to be 23.51. Fine, coming to the next thing. Uh, if you find more, then you can use the function median. So you can use that function median. Mm. Actually, I think that is missing the package. I need um, it's already there. So I think that the median of that. The file is 23. So these are the approaches you can just type directly and to get that output. Fine. Now coming to the next thing, you can use that first quartile system. For that, you need to use what command is quantile. You can see here, but here it is quantile, right? Quantile if you want quantile for T and PG, comma P arrow tops equal to if you want to cal cal want to calculate quantile for the first button then use quant probability one to five. What you get quantile for first button is seventeen point five percent. This will discuss more in detail in few of the advanced exams. Just telling and just giving the summary how you can calculate that quantile thing for the first quadrant. The third, for the third quadrant, a quadrant you can use the top is equal to 0.75 and then the result will be for um, third quadrant. Just like here, you can copy paste this one and just change this probability to get quantile. So I'm Placing 0.75 for that third quadrant. What you get for the third quadrant is 29. Okay, so coming for the next thing, you can check the normality check also. 
so for that normal feature what we need to do is to few norms to few norms and this is so you can find that there is, there is a normal QQ plot, right? You can use some customized thing to get more, more things. QQ line, and do it dollar, and PZ, commas, colon. Cannot uh, column equal to that. Fine, and you can use for lining at the body equal to three. Fine. So you can see there's one baseline to get that good approximation and metric result. So now coming to the next thing that is very important part of our video of this video that is how you can create a function. So starting for the basic function. So for writing any function, you have to start with what the name you are creating for that function. So I'm creating a creating name with f. So for f my f and function. I'm declaring x for first value x1 and x2. Okay, I guess this is you can use small variables, so it does not make any sense. x1 and for the second is x. Fine. So I'm giving okay. So in that I'm giving that return thing. What it will return for getting any if it will take any x and x1 and x2 value for okay. If it is taking x1, then I will want to that I want that x1 multiply with. Multiply by two, then plus x two. To the power two. Fine. So the function has been created. This is function is already saved, right? So if you want to check that thing, you can use a I'm giving parameter one comma two. What you get five. When you can give parameter two comma three, you can get thirteen. Even you can cross verify it for two and three. So two into two is four, and three into two five. So it is equivalent to what you are looking for. Sorry for that one. That is power. So two to the power two is four, and three to the power two is nine. So nine plus four is five. So this is our common basic function we can create. So that is for enough for the this video. I will learn more about this in the next coming video. Please like our channels and subscribe. Also, thank you and have a nice day.